Hi, if you are new here, I'm Kanye and if you are already watching this channel, welcome back. Today we are continuing our watching Hamon Beat series and we are going to see musical references for the fifth part of Georgia, my favorite part, Golden Wind or Venta Oreo, like it's uh, written here. And I'm really excited for this one. I really enjoy this music references explanation videos. And I want to see the one for this part really badly because as I said, this is just the part that I enjoyed the most. Uh, so let's just get into it. Let's Go. And it was so short. I was just getting into it and it just ended right away. Gold experience. Prince, the gold experience. Okay, so Prince had a song like that. Or maybe that's even an album because it seems like a cover. Mm hmm. Yeah, that seemed nice. Oh, Leaky Eye Luca, yeah. <laughs> Luca Susanna Vega. My name is Luca. Okay. Well, that's also. Well, I guess this could be a reference again with things like this. It can it can be just a name, right? But I guess maybe it's not a coincidence. Uh, Susanna Vega has this song. I think also the samples might be so short because of copyright, but... Oh, okay. But yeah, maybe it's just about the song themselves because I think the gold experience was like, okay, that was a short sample. I can't really say anything. I don't really have any thoughts on this song. Um, then we got uh, to the next one. This was just like one phrase. That also, I don't know, doesn't make me want to listen to this song right away. But then we get sticky fingers and... Wait, let's go to this. Like this is... <laughs> Obviously, I have my own musical preferences. You can see that. I like that a lot. So we are kind of getting the stand references here, obviously. That's cool. And it's uh, just uh, the name of the band. I, I heard about Black Sabbath, but I didn't really um, listen to a lot of their songs. Oh, that's also the name of the band. I mean, the name itself, Moody Blues, is kind of musical, right? Oof. Yeah. But... The vocals are really beautiful. I love the voice. That, that was nice. Mm. I don't know. That's kind of... <laughs> I don't know why this music kind of fits really well. I'm just remembering this episode. And yeah, we are getting to the parts that are fresher in my mind. So I'm like, oh, wait, I remember this episode uh, pretty well. And right we were introduced right then uh, to moody blues because he kind of needed his ability and then we found out uh, this dude and it's his uh, stance name was soft machine and there was this sequence that uh, as alone is very popular like the torture dance i think it's called it was really quick in the anime and i was like oh that's interesting but then um i found out that it is like a super popular moment in the georgia community it, it was it was something <laughs> but now i'm listening to this music from this soft machine group and looking at their cover and somehow i just feel like it fits <laughs> so well yeah something about it This is good. This is like punk. Uh, <laughs> I remember, yeah, Sex Pistols. It's kind of also cool because it's like 
one, two, three, six, six, six <laughs> uh, bullets, uh, uh, right? And uh, six and six, uh, this is like very close uh, to each other words. I think in some languages, number six actually does sound kind of like sex, says, says, etc. Uh, so it's also a cool play on words. Um, but yeah, I think when we got introduced to his stand, I probably got the reference because I heard about Sex Pistols before and I maybe even listened to a song or two and I think their music counts as punk, right? And I do like punk music, but again, it's not something that I listen to right? a lot of songs. But I, I, this kind of music, it kind of makes something in me because I, I considered myself a punk when I was a teenage and it makes me happy when I hear something uh, punk sounding. Wait. There's something all... I feel like music is hmm, here. It's more interesting than in, that's something different. Hmm. Well, obviously, yeah, the reference is self craft work, craft work. Uh, pretty similar, it's just craft work is in German and craft work is translated to English. The, this is the cover, I suppose, for the album, maybe, and it also looks, you know, oh, kind of. I don't even know what is the word that I would like to use. Surrealistic, maybe. Okay, this is little feet, little feet. Again, it becomes kind of a player on the words. Mm. Ooh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Remembering <laughs> the events. Oh, wait, is this is like, there's even a visual reference here. Little Feet Under the Radar. So, Little Feet is the name of the group. And I know I pronounce it completely the same way. Feet, feet, <laughs> no difference. But there was like an album, maybe like a song and an album, right? Um, called Under the Radar. And the way the cover looks, it's like something that... We have pretty much the same shot here in the anime. That's pretty cool. Yes! <laughs> I'm just <laughs> happy to see it. I was, I was thinking, okay, but when, the, when Aerosmith is coming in, yeah, obviously I heard about the group Aerosmith. I think it's also a pretty popular one, but again, didn't really listen to a lot of their songs. I feel like I'm, I'm missing the, uh, the music a bit. Let's go back a little and just listen. That's fun. It's so different from the previous one. I think, again, something that is very groovy, something uh, that I really enjoy. <laughs> this design is so good. And it's, again, kind of taking uh, the semantics of this world, Ira Smith, and doing something with, like, Ira uh, theme. So that's pretty cool. Wait, that was such a cool episode, first of all. And then Michael Jackson is a very famous and well-known figure. Um, but again, I'm repeating myself. <laughs> I didn't listen to a lot of these songs. Um, but maybe I even heard the name of this one. Let's just listen to this sample silently. It actually sounds really nice. I think I should listen uh, more to Michael Jackson. It's not really, I feel like, my favorite genre of music, but it would be nice to, you know, get more familiar with different, especially like such important artists in music. And uh, seems like lyrics are pretty interesting as well.
yeah uh, we got introduced to purple haze then and and, and dean introduced and never saw it again I think. Yeah. oh but i like how you know the design is pretty cool and probably said before that purple is my favorite color and the name is so cool purple haze i know that this also the details in it are kind of like um, reminiscent of a clown in a play um i don't know this looks pretty cool and obviously again we are using it, it was called purple haze so obviously we are taking this uh, semantics and applying to the design of the character so yeah i like how it works and we had something uh by jimmy hendrix i think in the previous installments of this series <laughs> wait i have so many thoughts <laughs> First of all, I love Coco Jumbo. He is adorable. And oh gosh. But also, again, I, as I was saying, I feel like this time for the fifth part, the music is much more different from each other. Maybe it's just my perception right now, but I feel like for the previous parts, uh, there were more similar in general style compositions but here i get some very vastly different vibes like this is the music that you kind of you know you launch your sims like not sims 2 not sim 3 just regular sims and you have all the expansion packs and you decide to go on vacation and so you book your vacation and your sims um sim has to go to the, this vacation town you know so when this map with the vacation town loads you hear this totally <laughs> that, that's that's just the vibes i get <laughs> mm. the grateful dead yeah also like, shit, very cool design uh and th this is again clear reference grateful dead grateful dead and not sure what i feel i remember this i remember this was pretty crazy i was watching i think that episode and I was wearing maybe right then I had a t-shirt with uh, mum, you know mummy trolls I think that's just how they say it in English same way right and it had he was fishing this mummy troll and there was a phrase I do love fishing and I just happened I think that's how I remember it at least to wear it one of these episodes I think they had even like was it one or even two episodes with both of them <laughs> <laughs> and this stand comes out and i'm like oh wait that's really fitting <gasps> that was also uh so cool wait and their names were like italian food <laughs> that's, that's what i remember like something like queso prosciutto wait queso is spanish right <laughs> Sims vacation again. <laughs> okay, now we are going back to baby. Uh, not back. Now we are going forward to baby face, and I'm still stuck on that episode. Yeah, obviously, kind of taking the idea that what like the beach, maybe with the on the beach you are going fishing. The Grateful Dead also kind of uh, fits with the abilities, I think, of the stand. Um, so so that's the part that I find pretty cool. So you actually take this not only, you don't only make the references, but you also get some inspiration. That That's what I really like. I have very small vocabulary today, I'm sorry. <laughs> Is this uh, this um, singer's name, uh, Babyface, I assume, right? And obviously again we have a stand named babyface which also has a lot of like 
I just finished making a reaction to that film that I had was requested on Patreon, like Synecdoche in New York. And I feel like it took all the brain capacity out of my mind. So <laughs> I wanted to change pace and have something fun, but I feel like I'm struggling to formulate my thoughts right now because of that. I watched it for like two hours and I watched it with this face. Bro. He has a baby face. I had this face like. Pretty much, but yeah, I wanted to say like I feel like the names of all the stands really work so well with their abilities. I think that's the thought I wanted to convey. Let's go. <laughs> Wait, that's the name of the album, though, not of the song, because I think the song is just called like when my guitar gently weeps. It's just cold like that no because i remember this song i listened to several songs of the beatles i actually do like them a lot even though i often say like oh i like groovy and like rock and punk and stuff like that oh but i really like the flow of beatles music which is my favorite but i think i had a favorite but i'm not really sure <laughs> right now i really like Wait, Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds, I think it was called. It was pretty cool. I like also these uh, hypnotic songs in a way. And I feel like Beatles songs are kind of hypnotic and melancholic maybe as well. What uh, the, what, uh, this is the name of the album, just White Album. And I guess this is a cover, just White. Okay, it's like, you know, that Black Square, um, very famous painting by Malevich. And this is a white square, very famous album, I guess, by the Beatles. And we have a stand white album, obviously. Okay, let's move on. I really like this song. This is good. Paperback Writer also is a fun song. And I think it's actually, isn't it about a write of limericks that I really liked when I was a child? I had a book with his limericks and it was so fun. Wait, wait, wait. Also the lyrics. Psycho killer. Keskese. That's what I understood. <laughs> A mix of English and French. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's ridiculous. Cool. So yeah, that's this group called Talking Hands. I didn't know about it until this very moment. Oh, that was, wait, uh, when Naranja Stang, he, 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 is that it? Was that that episode? I feel like I'm also starting to forget the episodes here as well. But yeah, the reference is clear, Clash and the Clash. And if this is what I'm talking about, this was such a horrible episode. I mean, not in the way that it was a bad episode, but in the way that the events happening were so horrible. Also, I like the look of this band. Looks also kind of punk rock, very cool. Uh, but I, I don't have the same feeling, I think, about them music as I usually do with punk rock. It's kind of... It's fine, but I don't think any particular way about it. Okay, notorious. Mm. Oh wait, wait, wait! <laughs> just, I wanted to talk about this first. Why YouTube is working so bad? Okay, life after death, notorious big. So I guess notorious big is a uh, uh, singer, music creator. How to say this? And life after death is either like a song or an album because I feel like we are getting a lot of just album covers here as well, right? Well, I guess this is like the super clear reference. This isn't like some Lucy that could be either like any kind of Lucy. You know, this is like definitely I can see <laughs> that it was taken from him, his name, right? 
actually listen to this song. I think that's like the only song uh, from Spice Girls that I heard, maybe. I heard a lot about Spice Girls and maybe uh, when we saw her stand, I maybe even got the reference. And uh, I think that is kind of a pretty popular band. And I really love the design of this stand. And she was so cool as well. I feel like the stands, they're also so vastly different in terms of, like, she appeared, like, no, uh, what I'm trying to say is that some of them seem, like, more sentient than others, some seem, more, like, more self-aware than others, um, and it is just quite peculiar, and I think when she appeared, she felt also, like, this kind of, not even sure if I have, like, the mentor is not the best word, uh, but she was super, like, smart and i'm not saying that other stands are stupid i think it kind of varies right and we saw stands being pretty sentient but with her i felt it was like on a different level that i it made me surprised and it is something that i remembered pretty well well <laughs> relatively well of course but i was like wait is this normal what is going on is this like her subconsciousness, because the stand is a representation of the soul in theory, right? Is telling her like what to do because it it felt like it's she's kind of guiding her even, right? Okay, like I don't know why the space isn't working. Okay. Oh my god, this was such a cool fight as well. I was so bummed that he he, he was robbed. He should have won. Risotto Riz, Nera. I even remember his name. And you know I'm bad with names. But I remember his name very well. And I thought he was so cool. And that fight I thought was so cool. And he was robbed. <laughs> That's all I want to say. And... Metallica is also a super famous and super cool group. Yes, I didn't listen to a lot of their songs, but even from their name, you can tell it's something that I should like, right? <laughs> I'm just, I have very strong feelings about this. <laughs> and I think we are mostly also getting references for stands here, because the names were more like references for food, like Risotto Nera is just black risotto, right? And uh, many other characters also had names just connected, inspired by food. So you would just uh, need to show pictures of food, not of music, that should be a different video. I actually, I think in the court of the Crimson King, I have this uh, song in my playlist and I, I like it a lot. I think it's really cool. It's something to listen, in my opinion, more like background music. It's also pretty long and it has more parts without lyrics. So you're just kind of chilling, maybe doing your morning stretch. Yeah, yes, I did listen to it while doing morning stretch. That's why I'm giving this very specific example. Uh, but I think it's really cool. Here we have the epitaph and this very famous moment, I guess, with Doppio. I felt also so bad for Doppio because this is, yeah, Doppio is a double espresso, so that's also like a food references. Uh, yeah, this is like completely the same. Doppio, um, Doppio, yes. Well, we are not really like discussing my thoughts on the pod, but I think this music references became partly that. And yeah, just, I now I just feel sad when I look at him. I feel like he was used. I felt like he was used and abused and, and died in the end. I, this was, I was actually sad when he died. I, I, I actually felt for him. I think that's what also makes him more interesting as a character. 
and again yeah that episode i think that that might maybe well, like at least two episodes maybe that, because a lot of stuff has happened when oh, then yeah okay <laughs> let's go forward i just remembered what happened after the fight i like green day I also wasn't really like super into their songs and I, I, I couldn't even name anything but I remember I listened to some of their songs I liked them I just don't remember them well I thought yeah this, this sounds nice and obviously clear reference I, I, I didn't let it like play out really it's nice I, he was so strange! He was so strange! And like the switch that he had from his submissive to dominant behavior, so I don't know! <laughs> and his design as well! Yeah, Oasis, Oasis, clear references. I don't really know this band. Um, let's uh, listen to it a bit more closely again. Okay? I don't know, I can't really say anything. Oh, wait, Doppio? He has his own reference? I thought, as I just checked, that it is also kind of food drink. Ah, oh, wait! You are really going to tell me that, like, so to say, two people living in one body is a reference? to a song uh, 21st century shizoid man maybe i should read through the lyrics maybe there are like more points of connection but i feel like you know it's not a novel idea in itself but that, that's funny <laughs> oh yeah that that felt kind of I remember this episode, I was like, huh, that was a bit of a change of pace, so to say, from the main story. Um, and yeah, obviously, Rolling Stones, very famous group, there was even like a music journal, I think, a magazine, um, that was called uh, Rolling Stones. Again, I never really like di dived deep into their songs. Not sure what to say. It was it was fine. We had this before. Wait, but it is so good. Dio is a, <laughs> we discussed it before. Dio is a really good singer. But is does this imply that this is like the car? Oh, wait, that's true. This is. Um, cover of the chapter is a reference to the cover of the album. Ah, okay, okay. So uh, this is supposed to be journal, <laughs> I assume. Um, and uh, he has very interesting lime green hair here. And he represents this devil from the cover. Also with the chains, yeah, I think the, I think the reference is pretty clear. It, it it might be it because it's pretty close. Ah, oh, that's so good. The sound. Okay, this must be something about what's written here. So we actually had like profiles also. That's so cool because that's something that I don't get in the anime. The profiles of the characters. Will there be Naranja's profile? <laughs> um, yeah, so it's pretty exciting to see. That's something that you only get in manga. Okay, Bruno Bucciolati, age 20. I even thought he was so young. <laughs> yeah. Um, stand name, Sticky Fingers. Uh, date of birth, September 27, 98. 
See, that's how you're supposed to pronounce a yellow, right? Blood type A, height 178 centimeters. Okay, that's pretty, like, it's pretty normal height. <laughs> in Georgia, everyone is, like, two meters, right? Uh, in previous parts. Yeah, that's just a bit higher, I think, than the medium. Uh, he was born in a fishing village without much wealth and was drawn... I remember he was talking, <clears throat> like, about the house that Trish could live in, right? And was drawn into a drug-related incident. He committed murder to protect his father's life, uh, thus entering this world. Ah, the, this world, okay. Um, the basis of Buccellati's personality is the kindness that he inherited from his father. His father's wholehearted love for his family formed the foundation for Buccellati's personality. Even after he entered the world of gangsters, people still admired Buccellati's personality and put their faith in him. Yeah, he was like a very... This kind of person... Very steady, calm trustworthy, I think inspiring trust and respect from others, these kind of things, you know, like, like a rock. <laughs> uh, however, as fate would have it, that kindness became his weakness. Um, maybe in a way, yes, but I, he's not like my favorite character, but I, I think he's actually, yes, a person that inspires respect. I think he's pretty cool. Uh, favorite music. Okay. Um, Agartha and Beaches Brew by Miles Davis. And that's what we get here. We'll listen to it now. Uh, favorite story. Il Postino. Interesting. I have to read it. <laughs> favorite foods. Okay, okay. Spaghetti aia bot. Targa, oven-baked pors porcini mushrooms with scallops. Okay, I get it. Mushrooms with scallops, that's... Uh, I don't need any translation for it. It sounds pretty nice. Does he also oven-bake scallops? I thought they're usually, like, kind of fried. I never tried them baked. Maybe I should. But what is spaghetti? I, alla, alla, aia. I'm not sure. If it was Spanish, I would say aia, but it's not Spanish. It's Italian. Bottarga. Let's see. It, it looks pretty nice. Wait, is this like orange zest or something like this? That would be crazy. Access denied. Okay, thanks. <laughs> spaghetti con la bottarga. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Uh, spaghetti. Botarga. Thank you for the translation. Garlic. Okay, that didn't help me at all. Let's Google Botarga. Oh, it wasn't orange zest at all. It's like a special thing. Um, let's make it in English. Why is it all in Russian? I don't understand anything. I don't know Russian, you know. <laughs> Botarga. It's a delicacy of salted cured fish raw pouch. Ooh, ew, I don't really like fish raw, but I think many people think it's kind of quite a delicacy, so it must be a pretty cool dish, a pretty like, a d delicacy for many. So I think I, w I would try it, I would definitely try it, I remember trying risotto nera after watching <laughs> that part and thinking, hmm. I feel like there is some special connection between me and this food now. <laughs> ah, no, wait, also, least favorite foods, beans and apples. I, actually, I also don't really like apples, but I, 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 they're fine, they're fine. Pears are better. Beans is too wide of a statement. There's so many different beans. Wait, I didn't even... Wait. That's interesting. That's interesting. <laughs> That's all I can say. Leon. Wait, he, I, he also had a name. Leon. Okay. Leona Bacchio, age 21. Claudio Monteverdi. Well, I suppose he liked Claudio Monteverdi, but I want to read. So, stand name Moody Blues. Of course, it's the same. A, the same. 
year as Bruno, but I guess because it's different months, they have a difference in age, because he's 21 and Bruno is 20. In any case, he was born on March 25th. That is really nice. That doesn't tell me anything. I, I guess if you believe maybe like in horoscopes, it might mean something for you. Blood type A, also the same as Bruno had. And high, oh, he, like, he is super tall now. This is a Georgia character. 188. That's a lot. He became a police officer right after graduating from high school. But he soon dotted his hands and caused the death of his co-worker. He then lived a life of depravity and entered the world of gangsters. Actually, I do remember that pretty well. We kind of got a bit of his backstory, right? His personality is filled contradictions. I like I like him a lot. I liked him a lot. Like you know, I don't have any particular feelings about Bruno. Yeah, he is a cool character, but I wasn't really like specially attached to him for some reason. I think they're just like subjective reasons. You get along with some people more. You like some people more. And I really liked Abakio. I thought like first of all his design is fantastic. And I thought that his personality was interesting. I thought he was pretty cool. He knows that he will never rise through the ranks of the gang because he's a former policeman. However, he will not hesitate to risk his life when he is needed on a mission. He fell into the criminal world because he had no place in society. But within the depths of his heart, the righteous heart that Abakio had when he first became a policeman still exists. I like how it is like very highlighted righteous heart favorite movie sling blade favorite music monteverdi's uh vespro dea beata verhina it must be like classic music without none lyrics at all Remember, i was re well kind of recently on the concert well, pretty small a uh, sweet and small concert of italian medieval music specifically i think it was like music of florence and it was pretty fun i liked it a lot um the favorite foods are white and they were like also pretty interesting musical instruments we even got to like touch them a little bit i i posted uh, a few photos on instagram i believe uh, favorite music monteverdi's yes um favorite foods white wine <laughs> does it count as food i guess greco di tufe i don't mind white wine i think i would like like red wine better but why white wine is fine as well honestly like both are fine um arugula salad i i don't like arugula <laughs> I mean, I'm fine with it. I would eat arugula salad, but I think arugula is kind of bitter. It's not my favorite salad. And pizza margarita. I just had pizza margarita yesterday. I remember that moment when Arancha said, he said something like, I want to eat pizza. I don't remember which pizza he wanted. Was it also like just margarita or he wanted some other pizza? I think this is like the classic ones, margarita. And also there's like pizza blanca or something like this. I'm, I'm sorry if I said it incorrectly, uh, but uh, like it's the most simple pizza, so to say, that is served in Italy. And... I was, ah, oh, he's talking about, like, pizza and his dreams, we are fucked. <laughs> Just, now, these are the thoughts I have when I look at pizza, great. Anyway, I really love pizza margarita. This is also, like, one of my favorites in pizza. I like, it's either margarita, like, the classic one, or it has to be something very unusual, very unique, that I didn't try before, like, there's no in-between. I like either this or that. <laughs> A snotty kids. He dislikes snotty kids and waiting in line. Okay, I feel like we have the same brain. <laughs> Here, um, it's a bit closed by the player. Ayrton Senna, F Formula One driver. Mm hmm that's pretty cool that's interesting i liked his profile a lot i thought it was more interesting than bruna's but yeah, i'm sorry i i don't want to say anything bad about bruna i think i he's fine i just enjoyed some of the gang a bit more personally and it's maybe a bit more interesting for me to read about abaki and i feel like we connect on some points Yeah.
classic music actually i i like classic music a lot i can just go to like philharmony philharmony this is the same in english right somehow like that uh, where you just listen to classic music for like an hour or so and it's just it's good you know it's it's either punk rock or classic music <laughs> classical it's like as a background music also it's pretty I was waiting for Naranchi because I love Naranchi. He's my favorite. And he listens to rap. <laughs> I'm, I'm so sorry if you like rap. I don't like it. I just, it, it's not, obviously, you can't just say that there are many different, of course, like types and groups. Made, but there's not really groups in rap, right? It's usually a solo singer. But in any case, I know, of course, there are some different uh, uh, rap songs, uh, kind of. But in general, it's just uh, like my least favorite genre. I really don't like it. Uh, so I, I'm, I'm bummed. I'm disappointed. <laughs> but I think it kind of fits maybe for Narancia. So. That's okay. Stand name Ira Smith, the coolest stand ever. Narancha, the coolest dude ever. <laughs> um, yeah, and I feel like, um, okay, May 20, 1983, blood type AB and height 164. So he's still taller than me, but closer to my height. Uh, he's about five, centimeters taller than me <laughs> so we are pretty similar in height as well because i feel like i also connected to him a lot as his like personalities his character his mother died of illness in his childhood his father treated him as a nuisance when he was 14 years old he was framed for oh yeah that was horrible he was framed for a crime and sent uh sent a place sent to a place probably resembling a reform school later when he was living on the streets and on the verge of death he met bucciolati and entered the world of gangsters yes um personality he offers 100 percent yes and 110 percent um, of his love and loyalty to those who have earned his complete trust but he never opens himself do anyone else remember this moment when he was swimming and screaming something i am Something like that. I don't know. I feel this is kind of a representation of that. That he offered his like 100%. And he is a very, I don't know, he has strong emotions. And I really relate to that. I really like that. I think that's cool. I, I'm, the cool has been the only word I used throughout this video. I need some new vocabulary. What the heck? Um, anyways. He's, um, um, da, um, nem, nem, nem. He never opens himself to anyone else. He's troubled by the fact that he never completed primary school and becomes enraged when other people mention it. Take caution as he's quick to draw his knife. Yeah, and he's also very short-tempered, which is I also, also something that I can relate to. So let's see how... Okay, we don't relate on music already. Favorite book doesn't read. Well, that's okay. That's okay. Um, you can read aloud to him. <laughs> that's that's very fun way to spend time, right? Favorite movie? Doesn't watch movies. Same, never watch movies. Honestly, <laughs> I very rarely watch movies by myself. When I was little, my friend would usually drag me to movies. I had actually, I had a few VHS tapes. I think that's how they called. I liked watching uh, like movies on them as well. Um, and obviously, I sometimes I do reactions to movies, but in general, to be honest, I'm not a huge movie watcher. I have to sit in one place for hour, two hours. Like you know, this is something. <laughs> this is something um, of a feat. You know, <laughs> favorite TV show. Feast of the North Star. Wait, stop. I wanted to actually like watch it. I think I was watching. This is this is where the phrase is, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm sorry if I'm wrong. Uh, where he says, 
お前は死んでる。何 Is this where it's from? You are already dead. What? No, I'm, I'm super sorry if I'm wrong. That's the, 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 that's the memory I have. And it kind of looked uh, from the visual style similar to Georgia for me in a way. And I thought maybe after Georgia I should watch this. I didn't <laughs> yet, you know, but it was uh, kind of in the back of my mind. Favorite music to park and Snoop Doggy Dog, American rap music. No, I'm sorry, no. Uh, favorite foods, pizza, margarita with mushrooms. Yeah, he probably, that's what he was probably saying. He was he didn't want just margarita. He wanted margarita with mushrooms. I mean, I don't mind if it's with mushrooms. I can eat pizza with mushrooms. Not a huge mushroom lover, but it's fine. And of course, orange juice. His name is Narancia, like orange. Um, and it's it's pretty simple to recognize because I guess in Italian it's Narancia and in Spanish it's Naranja. So super close. I love orange juice. Gosh, this is especially uh, fresh orange juice. You know, not just from like a bottle, a can or packet uh, but freshly squeezed orange juice it is just the best it's my favorite drink in the world um i have some orange juice in the fridge right now uh, it's only a bit left oh anyways dislike spicy food thank it um yeah liquid noises I mean, who likes liquid noises? I love spicy foods, but I understand why many people would dislike them. That's completely understandable. He loves the sounds his leather shoes make when he walks on winter mornings. It actually, it, it does. I can imagine it actually right away. I think it's very well described. That's cool. And here, Bruno Bucciolati, it says, Bruno, oh, that's so sweet. In any case, that was very enlightening. We are not as similar as I thought. <laughs> uh, let's go. Ah, the, the, I forgot about the music. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, next. That sounds very sweet. Um, now let's see. Uh, Mister H18. Ooh, that's it's also these little drawings. Also so cute to see them, kind of like manga style. So obviously stand name Sex Pistols, blood type B, December 3rd, 1982, height, also pretty normal, uh, a bit higher than usual, I think. Um, in real life, I mean, not in Georgia universe, they are all very short. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, 179. Uh, because I think when we were reading from like the first part, their heights were like to the moon. <laughs> History. I roamed the streets at the fog. He was uh, caught up in an unexpected incident and sentenced to several decades in prison. But Bucciolati saved him and the gang recruited him for his talents with the gun. The, with this incident is that when he saved a mo woman who was being raped i mean yeah he killed all this man but i'm totally on his side <laughs> doesn't deserve prison <laughs> um anyway personality he believes in the existence of god on a fundamental level no matter what dire situations may befall him he optimistically believes that he will survive and danger will pass by him he was right <laughs> a belief which has held true oh do, do we read it like in the end of the manga then? Because it it's like a spoiler. <laughs> However, he loses all hope when the number four is involved. Uh, once he starts worrying about that number, he will immediately become very pessimistic. Yeah, it makes sense because like in, uh, in Japanese, actually, number four is a bad number because it's the same as death or something like that. I'm not sure how is it in, in Italian. I think we probably talked about this maybe in the comments when I was... Um, watching the episodes, but now I don't really remember. He will immediately become very pessimistic and become afraid of even the slightest things. Yeah, so he is kind of superstitious. Favorite movies, Pretty Woman and The Bridges of Madison County. Okay, at least like this is the movie that I heard about Pretty Woman. I didn't actually watch it, but I heard about it. Bridges of Madison County, don't know anything about it. 
favorite music with just listen to the carpenters it was actually pretty sweet i'm surprised honestly i feel like the previous music choices uh, felt for me more like oh yeah i can see why this character likes this music but with mr i'm a bit surprised um he also loves pizza I, they all love pizza they are all pizza lovers but also uh, toscan white beans Tripa. Okay, here is an explanation. Beef stomach simmered in tomato sauce and pit. Actually, the soul sounds pretty good. I'm not a huge meat lover, but these are all foods that I would try. This sounds nice. Uh, this uh, actually in the I don't even recall in that moment he said I need to have lunch right fucking now I don't care that we are like have to go after anybody that we have to do anything i need to eat right now i don't actually remember what he was eating uh dislikes the number four the student living next door who plays guitar while he is trying to sleep <laughs> okay. i hate it when someone doesn't let me sleep and when i'm trying to get asleep like every single noise is disturbing me it doesn't let me fall asleep and it's very hard for me to fall asleep with noise but once i'm already asleep you can play on drums drums i don't care but i feel this i feel him i hear uh, monica bellucci sexy idol that's very interesting roberto baggio soccer player His profile is pretty peculiar. I like it. <laughs> and also, Mist is another character uh, that I also like, uh, like Bruno. I think he is very cool. Uh, maybe I like him even a little bit more, but also I don't have like special attachment to him. Um, like Viznaranche, for example, that is my favorite. Um, let's see. Are we going to have my least favorite as well? Like... We do remember that Fuga exists, right? Giorna <laughs> uh, Giovanna, age 15, he is so tiny, 15, holy shit. Anyways, a <laughs> stand name, gold experience, April 16, 1985, blood type AB, height 172, but he is still 15, so he'll probably uh, be tall. Uh, um, his father was Dio, who survived using Jonathan Joster's body. His mother is Japanese. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. Um, personality, what the journey desires most is hope. He has faith that he can reach any destination as long as he has hope. That's so sweet. In his childhood, Jorna received almost no love from his mother and was actually abused by his stepfather. A humanity that an unknown gangster showed him when Jorna was, oh, I remember, was one step away from breaking down, became his his justice and his hope and i think he's just so he is maybe my favorite i love joseph a lot but i love jorna so much like everything about him i like his interesting morals his way of viewing life i mean the thing that i enjoyed this part the most might also play a part in this but uh, I don't know, just, I love his personality so much, and his design is so cool, I love how he looks, he looks very pretty, um, very nice color palette as well, uh, with his, like, purple and yellow, this is such a nice combination, and I think I talked about this many times before, uh, that I heard, like, opinions from people, that say that they don't like Jorna, Jorna's personality for some reason, and I don't know, I just respect his personality so much, I'm pretty sure I talked about this before, definitely in like, in my Golden Wind reactions, I'm just, I just admire him a lot, and I loved him through like every single episode, especially from that uh, banana pistol <laughs> moment you know i was very impressed and i thought oh this this is the kind of gray morale area that i really like he has his own moral ideas 
and um, he, unlike previous judges, he isn't afraid to just kill his opponent. And also, I feel like um, overall the stakes felt higher, even though in the previous parts many characters were dying. In the fifth part, it was different. It, it, for some reason, it felt like it is more dangerous. And I think the fact that we would actually like kill our opponents more than just incapacitate he, them, you know, or let fate kill them. Um, that maybe also played a part in this. And so I was maybe much more fascinated as well because of that. Uh, right now, of course, I'm not like fresh out of watching that part, uh, but I still remember like my general feelings. And this is definitely a part that I would rewatch for sure uh, there maybe there was some gore but it wasn't like in the third part in stardust crusade there's it's something that i could definitely like watch again his favorite story is um, i remember like in russian i remember it very well it's called отверженные I don't know how to say it in French correctly i i i, I suck at pronouncing in French um les miserables Maybe, most likely, I said it incorrectly, but it was kind of my favorite book. <laughs> well, not really. My favorite book is Robinson Crusoe, always, but I loved it a lot. I started, you know, there was a um, separate story, more like for kids, taken from that book, and this is what I loved. It was just, you know, just... A story about a girl who was living with these people that were watching her her mom was somewhere away and she was um, mistreated and then this kind stranger shows up buys her a doll and they go out into the sunset and rainbows and happiness and you don't actually know like the full story and I loved this story a lot and see I, I still remember it pretty well because I read it a few times and then I found out it's like from a bigger book and big book is like fucking sad like the novel that i was reading in translated in russian it was it actually had a title that would relate to english as outcasts and i thought it's it sounds pretty cool to be honest uh, but this seems more like people who are miserable if it's the same as in english miserable um in any case maybe i'm talking a bit too much about it let's just finish by saying that it is by uh victor hugo uh, probably not how you pronounce in french but i love his books they are all so fucking sad like no good ending everyone dies they're super dramatic you bowl your eyes out i really love his books they're really good <sighs> i was just uh, i don't know i was just happy and excited that his fav this is his favorite story by one of my favorite authors i thought just just so cool we are talking about music references what am i doing jeff beck will listen to him right now let's finish this <laughs> Favorite foods, chocolate, pudding, and octopus salad. This is pretty fun. Of course, I think p m things that many people would like. Um, I wouldn't say I'm like super big on octopus so that I ate it a lot, but I had a salad with octopus. Uh, octopus? I think octopus is the right way to say it. Um, least favorite foods, poultry. It's like chicken and stuff. Um, especially duck meat. I, uh, yeah, I guess bird meat, right? Uh, well, I, I just don't really like meat in general. And I think bird meat is kind of more dry and dense. Though, like, not duck meat, maybe. Hmm. Hira, the unknown gangster he met as a child, obviously. I had a pizza recently with duck meat, I think. It was pretty good. It was with pears as well and with um, some other stuff. That It was kind of holiday special. As I said, like either margarita or something very unusual. <laughs> I like it. Okay, so as it turns out, we have more in common with Chorna than with Naranj. In any case, I liked his profile a lot. Respect um, all things 
totally understandable, totally cool. <laughs> and the music is also nice, you know, chill, very chill. And we go like in red. Oh, this is like yeah, the the state of the stand requiem. Oh, chariot requiem here. Yeah, this is like we are going into the final episode. And of course, Mozart. I know Mozart. I know his music. <laughs> when I said that I use classic music for background, I think especially when I was studying in university, I would often listen to Mozart while studying. <laughs> Song I, I mentioned, yes, King Crimson. Wait, but there's a sequence of so many cool things. Yeah, also, I got an arrow today. I also got that tie that I mentioned in my previous video. Unfortunately, I didn't have it for fourth part, but I think for, it wouldn't make sense to wear it for the fifth part. So I chose an arrow. And um, yeah, so we look at Mozart. When I look at Mozart's face, I think about candy. You know, there's this really nice candy with uh, uh, marzipan in it. Wait, is it how I say it? Uh, let's see, marzipan. Mm, yeah, pretty much the same, I think. March pain, who says that? Marzipan something like that um and it's kind of tasty i like it but it's pretty expensive so i don't eat it often so when i look at mozart's face i think it's the same face as on that candy it's like so cool you know <laughs> this, this song is really cool i love it a lot it's just so good um Oh, Valnerev is here. I'm just <laughs> the, the, in the middle. We 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 have all the characters. We have Dopio here, but I'm I'm just looking at this corner with Paul Nerev. Yeah, this is like ah when he yeah I remember this moment. It's all in Japanese here, unfortunately. But I think we agreed to meet there with Paul Narev and Bruno was practically blind by this point and he thought he was talking to Trish and in the end he kind of, yeah, he kind of got him to, mm, okay, he looks cool, he looks cool. I like the design. Yeah, but I think I said it in anime as well that I like his design. I I, I think <laughs> I have to find some new adjective. I think it looks stupendous. <laughs> King Crimson, like um, same face. Wait, wait let, let's see, but same face. <laughs> and. This is like the last moment, the last moment of the last episode. I think only he was like, in, Jorna was in black, uh, the turtle, Polnareff, Polnareff turtle here, Mist is here, and all these dudes are um, kissing um, Jorna's hand. Yeah, this is just the last sequence, I remember it well. This is just in it, part five, Finn, the end, that's it, yeah. Hmm. Okay, that's it. I don't know. I apologize. I feel like this was a bit messier uh, than my usual music references reaction. As I said, as an excuse that I made a reaction to a film that I watched for two hours, so my brain might be a bit muddled. I just wanted to have fun and listen to some music and have some Georgia in my life. Uh, but <laughs> I feel like now this is uh, even more of me talking it wasn't really focused on music in the end but i feel like this was talking about music strictly i enjoyed this a lot there was uh, something that i uh, recognized that there was something that we discussed maybe before um very different uh, types of music uh, so it was actually pretty cool and enjoyable but 
I just wanted to also kind of gush about the part itself and the characters and these profiles. And actually, we didn't even have like Fugo's profile. So mm, I'm not the only one who hates him. I was like, wait, where is my least favorite character? I was curious to read about him. I was going to make a reaction to that novel. I even have it probably. Let's see. Georgia Bizarre Adventure. Purple Haze Feedback. It's right here on <laughs> my desktop. And I started reading it aloud on camera and it kind of... Um, I wasn't sure if that's a good idea. I wanted to kind of edit it uh, so it's not like a full reading, but it will be parts of it. Uh, but I filmed for like an hour and I didn't get through that much of a novel. And I thought, can I really like read it all aloud? How I'm going to edit it? And then it kind of just stopped and I didn't even kind of continue reading. And it's just um, in a limbo somewhere. So I'm not really like getting on it. As well as with kind of manga about uh, Kira. I read the first chapter also on camera. I have, I have a video. Um, but I already forgot the first chapter and I didn't film like the second and maybe there was a third. I don't know. Uh, I'm just thinking about it all the time. Like, I have to finish this. Uh, so maybe, maybe at some point it will happen. I'm just thinking about it right now. Oof. Okay. Yes, yeah, usually I've been talking for like an hour. If you have anything to say. Please share your thoughts in the comments down below. I think I'm done talking for today. Maybe for this week. <laughs> it was too much. Uh, yeah, I thought the music was cool. The part is fantastic. Definitely should rewatch it. I didn't see a video for part 6 though. It says unavailable videos are hidden. Maybe it was flagged by YouTube. It just goes straight to part 7. So I got a blocked out that right after fifths on Hamon beat playlist there's like music references in part seven obviously i'm not going to watch that because i didn't read part seven so with that said i think that would be it for today uh, so i hope you enjoyed my reaction in spite of how like drawn out and chaotic it was i feel like i'm just kind of enjoying myself when i'm doing this judge related stuff so i get a bit carried away uh, but yeah please leave a comment if you have something to say that would be appreciated we could chat about it um, but that would be it for today so thank you for watching and see ya mm -hmm.